Behind me lies a 38 million rand, five bedroom, six and a half bathroom with seven garages, country residence. This is one of the most beautiful properties to ever be featured in Bononi. So come with me as we explore this home and all of its incredible features. My name is Chad Viveros. This is the Private Property Home Shoppers Show. Welcome home. Coming through these huge pillared entryway and through two stunning wood doors, you find sprawling imported tiles lining every corner of this home. A home that oozes luxury, sophistication and comfort. And right now we find ourselves in a dining room area that is absolutely gigantic. Right now, you can see how easily a 12-seater dining room table fits. On my right-hand side, we've got marble-lined countertops with recessed plug points, and above it, display cabinets to house whatever you need. Below it, some cupboard space for you to stash all the expensive silverware. Now, on this side, you'll find yourself a fully enclosed glass fireplace right here, shared both with the dining room area as well as the sitting room area on the other side. Now this glass fireplace has a fan housed in it so it blows the hot air out while keeping the smoke contained. Just above the dining room table you'll see two custom made chandeliers just really providing that final touch and making this room look so incredible. Above you'll see the slotted ceiling as well as some recessed lighting right here by the curtain area. But let's shoot this way off to what you could call the lounge area, the sitting room area. We've got the other side of that glass fireplace, a TV recessed into a frame, beautiful shelves with all the built-in lighting. And again, another one of these incredible once-off chandeliers. On this side of the wall, you've got paneled walling, really giving you a feeling of living in the White House, in one of those really expensive country estates. Above us, a bulkhead ceiling with not only built-in air conditioning, but also a built-in sound system. You'll see there's one speaker, there's another with the two air conditioning slots. Those speakers you'll find throughout the house, so there are different channels and zones you can enjoy some really classy jazz music. Now, we've spoken about the lounge area, we've spoken about the dining room area. I think what we need to talk about next is let's take a look at that kitchen. And right now we're approaching this kitchen area. We've got these stunning paneled solid wood doors and here it is, the kitchen where all the magic happens. If you're a chef, and I say this so often, these kitchens, these high class kitchens are for you. Right here in the middle, we've got a five burner melee gas stove. And then we've got this beautiful wood breakfast nook for you to sit and enjoy breakfast while talking to the family on my left. Obviously, what do you need? You need a prep sink. And of course, there's one right here. And not just a prep sink, one of those with the expandable nozzles. We know how much those are. Now, if we swivel around this way, you'll see you've got a double extractor. Again, this is best extractor. And over here, we've got two hidden, a fridge, a freezer, and then right here in the center, a chilled wine cabinet. On this side, we've got a place that houses all of your appliances, soft closed drawers. And then right above it, we've got restaurant grade stainless steel shelves with down lighting built right in. But again, in a home like this, there is so much more. We've got not one, not two, but three melee appliances. On my left, we've got a microwave, an air fryer in the middle, and on the far right hand side, my favorite appliance, the coffee machine. Now, this kitchen area is so big, there's space for another table. And because this is a bespoke home, you'll see just above it a chandelier specifically positioned just to light this small breakfast table. On my right hand side, we've got another prep sink with a water filtration. And then above it, 
those massive restaurant grade stainless steel shelves with the built-in down lighting. Below the stainless steel shelving, marble countertops lead you to this section right here, which is some cupboard space for all your dry goods. And take a look at how this opens. Pulling out all the cupboards, making this so easy. I really love that. Another really cool feature in this home and one that we have never seen before is a central vacuum system right over there. And this is throughout the whole home. You've got those slots in the floor. You'd sweep up in the different rooms you're in, take it right to that slot, kick the nozzle, and that'll vacuum it all up into the garage. Two big canisters are there. Very, very easy to dump out. Now, let's talk about here. Yeah, two ovens, both of them as well, melee with two warming drawers underneath. And just around the corner, we've got another two very interesting things. On the right hand side, we've got a mudroom that leads into the garage. So this is where you'd come out. Obviously you've parked your car, maybe it's been rainy. You've got some space here to hang up your jackets, place here for shoes, as well as where your DB boards are located. We've got a frosted glass door that runs outside. And over here is the scullery. So let's talk about the scullery. Your scullery has got an electric stove top as well as oven underneath and again a melee extractor fan. You've got a double sink this time for washing up if you don't want it in front of your guests. You can do it out in the scullery area. You've got places for all of your appliances and then a really cool feature again one we have never seen before is a dumbbell. So it's located right in the end and you can send food upstairs or downstairs. Now you might be asking me why would you want to send food downstairs Chad? What's downstairs? Well, follow me and let's take a look. So let's go find out where that dumbbell leads. Coming through the kitchen right on my left hand side, you've got stunning railings. Again, solid wood that matches all the doors in the home. Wrought iron balustrades, beautiful wood paneling on the floors. And right over here, you'd press this and there's your dumbbell, carting all your food in case you've got guests downstairs. On my right hand side, a lift, which we're going to be journeying upstairs with. And then behind this beautiful wrought iron gates, stunning Caesar stone floors, you're sitting in a wine cellar. Imagine having some guests down here and hosting an incredible meal. I think it feels so nice, so cozy and really does give you that feeling of being in a castle. Now, you've got a wine chili here, wine racks all along the walls. And over here, you've got a wood fireplace. So even down here, even in the winter, you're staying warm, you're staying cozy, you're having food delivered to your fingertips. How cool is that? But again, with all the homes like this, that is not off. And over here, let me show you this, let me show you this. Behind this almost hidden wall area, you push and you'll find yourself in your very over own cinema room, plush, comfortable, thick carpets, you've got a fridge as well as popcorn machine and the reason I mention why you've got these machines even though it's more furniture than anything else is because if you like this home, if you find yourself living in this home, the furniture is up for grabs. Guys, you can speak to the owner and you can negotiate taking the furniture, taking all these custom built things with you. But how nice is this speaker system in the walls, an absolutely gigantic screen right over here for you to sit and enjoy with the family and I think there's no time better than movie time. Oh, so let's see what's on Netflix. So we've spoken about the downstairs area. We've shown you so much when it comes to the middle floor. And we're going to leave the top floor for a little bit later. So let's go back upstairs and let's see what the middle floor has to offer. And here we are back on the second floor. And before we go down to the pool area, and what an incredible pool area it is, we've got more to talk about this home. So I've just passed the entryway where we started, and here we find ourselves in a small library area. Beautiful, with all these books. The wood really does feel like a place you'd want to sit down and relax. As I mentioned, there is a half bathroom, and it's right over here. Let's take a look at that. The half bathroom is fully enclosed in stunning wallpaper, absolutely massive mirror recessed against the wall, single vanity that is floating above some drawer space, floating toilet with that hidden system is located in the corner. And then coming out of that half bathroom, here it is, the first bedroom of this home. Now again, this bedroom has access to central air conditioning system, those speakers that are located in the ceiling, stunning plush carpets and so much space with a sliding door with tint on that leads you onto the garden and those incredible green rolling yields. Now, 
What bedroom in a home such as this would be complete without your very own walk-in closet? Plenty of cupboard space on this side. The bedroom itself also has so much space. There's a king-size bed there that fits oh so easily. And on my right-hand side, an ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look at it. Now this ensuite bathroom has a heated towel rack as well as your floating vanity mirror just above it as well as incredible lighting located to either side. The air conditioning system feeds into this bathroom as well, walk-in shower, bathtub access and then plantation blinds giving you all the light you might need. So we've got one bedroom under the belt. What else are we going to be talking about when we talk about the main floor of this home? Right here I'm standing in what you can see is a waiting area with a door that gives you access to the car. And why do I say there's a waiting area? It's because this is where you'll be conducting all your business. Working from home has become such a big thing with the pandemic and here it is, your very own office above me. Really cool lighting designs giving you that work feel. Again, another bookshelf with that awesome little ladder that you can use to access the top rungs of that bookshelf. We've got space here for a couch and then this amazing desk. And then right over here, a massive table where you're gonna be signing all your deals. Fits so easy. And then we've got these two sliding doors giving this office section access to the outside area. Now the outside area, rolling green yields, beautiful sunny sky, pool, which can only spell one thing and that is, I need my sunglasses. So the outside area has got so much space. There's all this open space right over there as well as running down to that side but the centerpiece is 100% this rim flow pool that stretches all the way across into the pool house and right here in the center taking prime position is your jacuzzi we've also got this full patio area over here that stretches from almost one side of the house to the other plenty of patio furniture space as well as a gas bright located all the way to the other side of the patio and something else that i really like and it's such a small touch but it does denote the quality of this home is take a look at what the downpipes are made out of this is not just any painted downpipe this is a stainless steel downpipe on all sides of the patio again bringing you all that class then against the wall of the home you've got stunning down lightings little bird cages with the lights housed in them so i love how this outside area is done so much space so much open space and definitely a place that you'd want to share with friends and family so now running down these stairs here we are with some slatted coverings over all of your tanning beds so you can sit down relax and enjoy the pool and this summer weather but if we're having a pool party and we've got people enjoying the weather you definitely need music and that's where these rocks come in as you can see if you give it a quite a close look there's a speaker built into it there's a speaker here there as well as two up at the top of the pool area i think it's so cool it makes it look so natural but yet you've still got your jams your tunes while you're jumping in and out of the pool and talking about the pool take a look at this right here glass siding of the pool you can sit here serve your friends drinks have fun it's really a cool design feature and standing here and really just observing this home you can see how stunning it is but behind me we've got the pool house on this side we've got the hers changing section so there's a toilet shower and changing area right over there for women and on this side for the boys we've got exactly the same thing and here we are the pool house above me stunning wooden rafters on this arch ceiling and that leads the eye directly to that right there which is a stone feature wall wood fireplace that's shared both by this sitting room area and please note that this furniture right here as well as the carpet is completely waterproof tv over there full-on tv cabinet speakers behind me as well as speakers in front of me but that is split so this wood fireplace splits this area into into actually three parts one is the sitting room area where we are right in two is this smoking cigar lounge right over here that is absolutely stunning imported italian leather armchairs actually there's four parts three would be this pool area really cool down lighting gold inside black on the outside this half of the fireplace and then four would be this incredible stunning probably one of the nicest i've seen this bar area we've got marble countertops fridges below so much space to display your alcohol and then that really cool ceramic wash basin now this side of the bar area is obviously open you can serve all your friends but we've got stackable sliding doors right over there leading onto the outside area so you can pass drinks through there so follow me and let me show you why you'd want to have 
that completely open. But actually, before we get there, this home is so big, I'm forgetting things. Over here, we've got a guest house. So on this side right here is a kitchen. We've got a bathroom over here. And right over here, you've got your guest room. So, so much shelving behind me, as well as this recessed area for the TV cabinet. We've got a double bed that sits in here very comfortably. And then these sliding doors, again, tinted for those UV rays, leading out onto a patio with a little chair there and table for you to sit out and enjoy your morning coffee. Just outside of it is a bathroom. Now, that bathroom's got a walk in shower, a bathtub, as well as a single vanity just floating above some more cupboard space with your mirror right in front of you. And then we come to the kitchen area. So a fully stacked kitchen, and this has got a theme, and that theme, as you can see, is red. We've got your Smeg fridge right here, plenty of soft clothes, cupboard space, an extractor fan, and then a convection stove top with the oven just underneath, wash basin, and again, those stackable sliding doors, allowing access to that outside area just in case you're having a party and what a party area so these stackable doors open up and it leads outside to an outside dining room area that moves off into this fire pit area with all of this inbuilt seating both in front of me and behind me and take a look at this fire pit and then here we are the heart of this entertainment area and it would be the outdoor kitchen pizza ovens right over there full-on grill here again with an extractor fan We've got a teppanyaki grill there. And then on this side, another little prep sink and plenty of undercounter storage, completely enclosed with your own down lighting. It is such a place to sit down and entertain. And this home, without a doubt, is incredible. Behind me, I'm sure you guys are getting a really good view of how expansive the grounds is, leading all the way down to those seven car garages, all of them being individual. But right now, I think we need to cruise through this pool area past the pool, back into the house, and take a journey up those stairs to the top floor, the third floor of this home. And let's take a look at those bedrooms that are located upstairs. So coming up this wood-clad staircase, there's a couple of things I'd like you to note as soon as you get to this landing. The first being the security section right here, coming down from the ceiling, giving you all the security you could need at the touch of a button. Then we've got this window running the length of the upstairs section, drawing your eye to the elevator that takes you to where we are right now, the third floor. On my right hand side, stunning gas fireplace, leading you into this pajama lounge, although it would be a stretch calling it a pajama lounge. It is an upstairs lounge area slash living area, TV there, full wraparound couch fits with ease above us, that aircon. And then moving on this way, you find yourself in another study area. You've got stackable glass doors leading out onto a balcony that overlooks the pool house and that incredible pool, a frameless window right over here, giving you that view, almost that picturesque painting view of your green grounds, a coffee table over here for you to sit and enjoy your coffee. And again, as we walk out of this, you can take a look at that incredible, stunning, gas fireplace now right over here you're overlooking your front door from your overhang from your balcony you can greet your guests as they come through feel all fancy stunning chandelier there and moving this way you'll find yourself within an upstairs coffee bar you've got plenty of under counter storage for all your cups microwave right here and over here that's your appliances you can make yourself a cup of tea make yourself a slice of toast and there you've got a little prep sink. Coming this way, we find ourselves in the first of the bedrooms located upstairs, and there's a lot to talk about. This is a stunning boys' room. Again, above me, you've got your central air conditioning, your double speakers for your zoned sound system. We've got this massive bed that fits oh so easy. Again, this stunning wall piece. Desk behind me, again, with so much space. Another balcony, so a private balcony for this bedroom. You've got those sliding glass doors leading out onto it. And over here, a repeat of what we saw downstairs, a walk-in closet section with a bathroom, again, that mirrors the design of the downstairs bathroom. You've got your bathtub, walk-in shower, single vanity, mirror above it, lighting on either side, and then your floating toilet. So that wraps up this bedroom. What else is there? And then just to your right, you find yourself in another bedroom, and this one is very different. It almost mirrors what you'd think a master bedroom mirrors, but this is not the master bedroom. On my left-hand side, we've got the ensuite bathroom, and that ensuite bathroom has your single vanity, mirror above it, all of your cabinetry is below it. Just to the left of that vanity, a walk-in shower, again, a floating toilet with hidden cistern. You've got your heated towel rack and your very own bath on the right-hand side 
coated in marble. But now coming out of the bathroom, you'll find yourself directly facing your walk-in closet. Closets lining the wall with your plantation shutters on the left-hand side, letting in all the light. But now that we've spoken about the closet, as well as the bathroom, let's talk about the bedroom itself. And here we are walking into this bedroom again. It mirrors what you see throughout the home. You've got your sound system built into the ceiling, your air conditioning system, a lot of space, your very own private balcony with those sliding doors that open up onto it. The sliding doors, I do need to mention because I think it is such a cool nifty feature is the tinting on the sliding doors, letting in a lot of light, but not letting in that heat or that glaring sunlight. This four poster bed, as big as it is, fitting in here without a problem, setting chandelier draping through those different columns of wood. And here we are, we have talked about this bedroom, we've talked about the other bedroom, we've got one thing left, and that's the creme de la creme, the master suite. But this master suite has got a twist. So follow me, let's take a look at it. Coming across this pajama lounge, we again pass the stunning gas fireplace, and we find ourselves back to where we began at the staircase and on my left hand side I want you to take a peek at this your very own gym as you can see stretched out all the way around here you've got all the space for your equipment full floor to ceiling mirror and then just where my cameraman is where you're standing that is an outdoor balcony with your very own outdoor shower some slats enclosing it and giving you that privacy and you can look out onto your incredible ground and just appreciate what this home is. But this gym area has got so much more. We've got under counter storage, marble countertops, a base and yeah, plug points for a fridge. And if we move this way, on your left hand side, you've got a full on massage parlor and on your right hand side, you've got a cedar clad sauna. You open up this glass door and move right into your sauna. I love the lighting. I've never seen lighting like that in a sauna before. It looks so cool. But then coming across, here we are within the master suite. This is one entrance. The other entrance being just behind me, behind this solid wood door. But now this, this master suite has got a twist. Because walking through here, you'll find yourself in your walk-in bathroom. The wash tub or the bathtub takes full front and center presidents of this room. You've got your faucets coming up from the ground, beautiful Italian tile, and then your marble here, which accounts for your two vanities as well as the two mirrors with your plantation blinds right here in the center. You've got your shower being a full-on walk-in shower as well as your toilet behind this frosted glass door, and then your heated tile rack, so you can't have chilly tiles in a bathroom like this just here off to the left. Pushing forward, here we are within the master suite itself. It is absolutely massive, four speakers in the ceiling. Again, you've got your central air conditioning, glass doors lining every single section of this. So you can either go out onto your outdoor shower or you can move onto your private balcony. And again, take a look at the pool house and the grounds. Yeah, we've got a king size bed that is absolutely massive, not even taking up a fraction of the space. And then if you are using that bathtub and you want some privacy, you've got these wooden slats, again, plantation slats coming across and just giving you all the privacy you might need. And how cool is that? If you want to open it up, let some of that steam out. There you go, quick and easy. So let's close these, let's move them across, and let's show you what else this bedroom has to offer. And the first thing would be your walk-in closet. Fully, and what master suite would be complete without your very own walk-in closet. In the center, you've got sunglasses, watches, any kind of holder you might need right here on these display cabinets with glass inlets. You've got your mirrors right over here opening up into some more storage space and lining every wall are your cupboards for all of your clothing, making you feel like the superstar you are when you're living in a home just like this. But guys, that does wrap up this 38 million rent home in Bononi. So what I'd like to do is let's go downstairs and outside and let's talk about how you could be the next owner. So follow me. And there you have it, folks, a complete tour of this 38 million rent stunning country mansion right here in Benoni. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to buy this home, the details of the agent and the agency will be appearing on screen as well as in the description of this video. But before we close up, I'd like you to know to visit www.privateproperty.co.za whether you're looking for a home this big or anywhere in between. This website encompasses 
all of the listings from every single estate agency brand, big or small, in South Africa in one easy to, uh, to find place and easy to search and that's what's so important. From myself, Chad Riveros, from the team at Private Property as well as the team at The Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for joining us once again and we'll see you next time at 8pm right here on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much and goodbye.